Hi, this is Valerie with At My Home. Today we're going to take a look at the new Ring Path Lights, and they pair up really nicely with the Ring Spotlight Cam and the Ring Doorbells and the other cameras from Ring. First we're going to unbox them, then we're going to get them all set up here at my mom's house, and then we're going to show you how they work with the app, and we'll talk a little bit about how they work together. Let's go ahead and unbox them and see what's inside. So we'll start with this Ring Bridge. So this is the Ring Lighting Ring Bridge and it activates the smart controls for the Ring Smart Light. So you can see here. And uh, basically with this we'll be able to create some lighting groups. We'll be able to connect it to the Ring cameras and customize it and it will even work with that uh, lady that we all know and love. Uh, of course since this is a Ring product. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, there's the Ring Bridge. We've got some instructions right here. That's all that's in the box. And here's the box. So you can see it's got a little blue box with some tools in it and this is the ring bridge itself. So now we need to, as I understand it, we need to plug this ring bridge inside and then it's going to talk to the, the lights that we got and it's also going to talk to the camera and the ring doorbell. So it looks like it's going to be pretty easy to set up. It's got a little QR code we can scan to get it all set up. And inside here are the tools. We've got a charging cable. We've got a plug, so this is going to be powered inside and plugged in inside. So it's going to plug in with a USB charger here. And then under here, they've included a little mounting plate so we can attach this to the wall and we can put the ring bridge in here. And it's got a little indicator light for whether it has Wi-Fi, probably whether it's powered on. So that's the ring bridge. The really fun part, this is one of the ring lights. Now we got four of these for her house. And when we get to, when we get to her garden, you're gonna see um, how we're gonna set them up. So these are motion activated, um, they're weather resistant and they're solar powered, which is pretty cool. So let's open this guy up here. This is a pretty big box for one light. All right. Okay, so inside here, here's a little stake we can put in the ground to put the light on. And this is the light itself. Now this is uh, plastic, it's pretty hard plastic. Uh, that's a little bit of a surprise though. I expected it to be metal or um, maybe a little harder, but it seems pretty sturdy. We've got the solar panel right here on the top. That's how it's going to get charged for the most part. And the motion sensor is right here. And then it's got the nice light inside. So that's the top of the light. And this is the base that it's going to get go in. So we've got, um, again, this is plastic, but it seems pretty sturdy. So so we're going to put the light on top here, slides in, and then you've got your ring light. Well, that's it. That's all there is to it. And it looks like we plug this in here when we get ready to stake it in the ground and we're going to shove it in the ground and we'll have lights in the garden. So that's the ring light. Let's see what else is in here in the box. Hopefully I won't break this. <laughs> Comes right out. So we've got um, here we go. It's got some little instructions here in this tiny little thing. It's got some more detailed instructions of how to use the solar path light smart lighting. And here's the best part, the protected by ring sticker. Everybody needs one of those. Uh, some very tiny print, must be mandatory warning label. And the last thing here in the box is a USB charging cable. And so I guess if the, what my understanding is, is if the solar doesn't charge up your light and you need to charge it inside, maybe you're having a lot of winter, like uh, where my mom lives, um, you can charge it up with this uh, USB cable and uh, make sure it's all charged up and ready to go. All right, so that's the Ring Solar Pathway light and the bridge. And now that we've got all this unboxed, we're gonna take it over to my mom's house, get it all installed and show you how it works. 
Okay, so we're here on location at my mom's house and we're gonna set up these ring lights. Now, so these lights are gonna go with her ring spotlight camera up there and her ring doorbell. So here's what they look like. So this is the light itself. You can see it's got a solar charging panel on top and it's got a little motion sensor right here. Um, so let me show you how it works. So it's a little arrow here and a lock to make sure it's on tight. Let me just turn this this way and open it up. Uh, this is the battery. It's a rechargeable battery that's charged by the sun or you can charge it with the USB cable that they've included. And uh, this is really important here. There's this uh, barcode that's right here. And uh, you need to make sure there's little squares that come in the box. And if you don't keep those little squares, you're gonna have to scan this tiny little barcode. So it's important when you go ahead to, to place this that you put the motion sensor the direction you want the motion to go. So we're gonna put these right along her path here in the garden. And this first one, we're gonna put it here. So before you, you know, get it, stake it into the ground real tight, it's important to figure out where you want that motion sensor to go. So we kinda of want the motion sensor to be right here at the path. Then we just screw it off. And then, you know, we can pound this in with a rubber mallet so we can make sure that we get it in all the way. So we get it real steady. Put that back on. Now that we have all the ring lights placed where we want them on this path, we're going to go inside and we're going to set up the app and we'll walk you through that and show you how it works and show you how we tie the lights to the doorbell and to the spotlight cam. Start by opening up the ring app and choosing the smart lighting bridge. Follow the prompts and accept all of the notifications. Scan the code on your bridge. Find a nice spot to place your bridge. You'll want to make sure you have an open power outlet and a strong Wi-Fi signal. Plug in the bridge and wait for the flashing blue light, then click to continue. The app will find your Wi-Fi network and finish connecting. After you connect to Wi-Fi, the ring bridge will calibrate, which can take several minutes, so just be patient. Now it's time to set up the smart lighting. Remember that little slip of paper with a QR code inside the box? Don't throw that away. It's a lot easier to scan that than to remove the top of the light. If you haven't already, open up the light and remove the paper from the battery to activate it. The bridge will discover the light, and if there's a firmware update, it will install it. Let this finish and keep your phone close to the light. Since this is the first light we're installing, we need to create a group. You can use one of their suggestions or make a custom group. We chose front. At this point, you can name your light. We named ours one, two, three, and four to start. You can change this later if you want. Now that you have your lighting group set up, it's time to link it to your other ring cameras. We got confused by this message. Just click got it to continue. We clicked the camera icons to connect the solar path lights to my mom's doorbell and spotlight cam so that they record when the light sends motion. We also clicked the light icon to define when the spotlight cam will come up when the path lights detect motion. We selected the evening hours. If you have other lights, then select add another device. Once you're done, all of the lights will show up in the group. Once we installed all four lights, we renamed them so that we know where they are. Now that you have everything installed, you can turn the lights on and off as a group. You can also change the individual light settings for motion sensitivity or schedules, etc. For example, you can specify when you want the lights to come on without motion. We set up ours so they'll be on from dusk to dawn each day. If you run into problems, you can always look at the device health for each light and see if it has a good connection to the bridge and to Wi-Fi. You can also check the battery levels. If the lights aren't getting enough sun, you can bring them inside and charge them with the provided adapter. Let's see the ring solar path lights in action. The lights come on at dusk and they stay at a low level until I walk past. Once I trigger the first path light, all the lights turn on to full brightness and the spotlight camera turns on. Also, the doorbell and spotlight cameras start recording. Hey, who's that guy behind my car? Thank you for watching our video today. We've included information about the Ring path lights, including information where to buy in the description box below. And while you're there, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And for more Smart Home stories, please visit appmyhome.com. Thank you.